I have great faith in fools. Self-confidence, my friends will call it. I became insane with long intervals of horrible sanity. Never to suffer would never to have been blessed. Years of love have been forgotten in the hatred of a minute. Science has not yet taught us if madness is or is not the sublimity of intelligence. The death of a beautiful woman is, unquestionably, the most poetical topic in the world. To die laughing must be the most glorious of all glorious deaths. Stupidity is a talent for misconception. Mysteries force a man to think and so injure his health. You will observe that the stories told are all about money seekers not about money finders. And have I not told you that what you mistake for madness is but over acuteness of the sense? For all we live to know is known. To observe attentively is to remember distinctly. If you are ever drowned or hung, be sure to make a note of your sensations. It would be mockery to call such dreariness heaven at all. If we cannot comprehend God in His visible works, how then in His inconceivable thoughts that call the works into being? Music, when combined with a pleasurable idea, is poetry. Music, without the idea, is simply music. The idea, without the music, is prose, from its very definitiveness. The pioneers and missionaries of religion have been the real cause of more trouble and war than all other classes of mankind. That man is not truly brave who is afraid either to seem or to be, when it suits him, a coward. Who has not, a hundred times, found himself committing a vile or a silly action for no other reason than because he knows he should not? There is no passion in nature so demonically impatient as that of him who, shuddering upon the edge of a precipice, thus meditates a plunge. As a poet and as a mathematician, he would reason well. As a mere mathematician, he could not have reasoned at all. And so being young, and dipped in folly, I fell in love with melancholy. It is impossible to say how first the idea entered my brain, but once conceived, it haunted me day and night. Marking a book is literally an experience of your differences or agreements with the author. It is the highest respect you can pay him. Even for those to whom life and death are equal jests, there are some things that are still held in respect. If a poem hasn't ripped apart your soul, you haven't experienced poetry. Loneliness in old age often means a deterioration in relationship with the remaining relatives and friends 
as the elderly person begins to demand constant attention from them. The best cure for loneliness in old age is a pet. If they say bad things about you, then they just envy you. The depth lies in the valleys where we seek her, and not upon the mountaintops where she is found. The eye, like a shattered mirror, multiplies the images of sorrow. Imperceptibly, the love of these discords grew upon me as my love of music grew stronger. When a madman appears thoroughly sane, indeed, it is high time to put him in a straitjacket. There is an eloquence in true enthusiasm. The idea of God infinity, or spirit, stands for the possible attempt at an impossible conception. The scariest monsters are the ones that lurk within our souls. A man's grammar, like Caesar's wife, should not only be pure, but above suspicion of impurity. Experience has shown, and a true philosophy will always show, that a vast, perhaps the larger, portion of truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. Art is to look at, not to criticize. A short story must have a single mood, and every sentence must build towards it. Every poem should remind the reader that they are going to die. Even in the grave, all is not lost. There are chords in the hearts of the most reckless which cannot be touched without emotion. The boundaries which divide life from death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where the one ends and where the other begins? To elevate the soul, poetry is necessary. It is a happiness to wonder. It is a happiness to dream. Poetry is the rhythmical creation of beauty in words. There are some secrets which do not permit themselves to be told. Invisible things are the only realities. Beauty of whatever kind in its supreme development invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. All religion, my friend, has simply evolved out of fraud, fear, greed, imagination, and poetry. Words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. Believe nothing you hear, and only one half that you see. There is no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in the proportion. I was never really insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched. We loved with the love that was more than love. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Those who dream by day 
are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. All suffering originates from craving, from attachment, from desire. 